Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education checking in on spy iwm qqq daily weekly time frame so end of the day we had a dump quick turnaround of things but on the daily chart it doesn't really look like a dump at all so it's all comparative it was a dump compared to the range today compared to the tight action that we were watching the bears do have momentum heading into tomorrow as we did see this dump at the end of the day but again all in all bulls are still very strong on this daily chart so we'll have to be watching again thursday is the catalyst here where we might see some fear in the market the market has had no fear for quite some time and we will see if the talking heads and cnbc and everybody tries to spin things to get the market a little bit nervous and some of that could have been what we saw today at the end of the day uh potential cia russia whatever the buzzwords are that's what the media is going to be spinning to try and potentially we'll see if we get that fear so we're going to be watching anything higher than 240.64 is going to maintain a higher low pattern and keep the bulls in full control so again, we could pull back from here $3, well, make that $2.50 and still be forming higher lows. So keep that in mind that it's all about perspective. And on the day, it was a very big bear drop, but on the whole, on the daily chart, it was not at all. And it's still a potential bull flag of healthy consolidation before continuation. But if we were to see another red day tomorrow, that would be a lot less likely. Low volume, even with the dump, nothing to see here in terms of fear and people exiting weekly time frame is seeing the upper Bollinger Band resistance last week. We're pulling back a little bit from there, but there is no red flags on the weekly time frame. Again, the range is extremely small. This is just a consolidation candlestick so far. IWM pulled back even further. Gap down open was bought. Bulls bought that gap down open, and they want that low of today, 137.81, to be a new higher low on this uptrend, and they want to head back up to resistance of 141.02. So that gap down open was a scenario where gap downs are for buying. That's a rule of thumb. Gap ups are for selling. Gap downs are for buying. Not always true, but if you were to do that blindly every time, you would come out on top more than losing. So weekly time frame for IWM, upper Bollinger Band resistance continues to reject the price. We're in a tight channel between those levels. Bulls ideally want to hold the middle Bollinger Band of 137.25 on this weekly time frame going forward. Doing a good job of it so far, trading sideways and watching for the upper Bollinger Band to ascend to create room back to that all-time high. QQQ, Bulls still in control, even though it is a pullback and a close at the low, similar scenario to SPY. It's a bull flag right now. So again, another red day, and that will be less likely, but we are watching this healthy consolidation. There's a gap to fill at 141.90. Anything above 140.57 maintains the higher lows on the weekly time or the daily time frame for those bulls. And the weekly time frame for QQQ, potential bearish reversal candlestick, but again, we have not seen significant pullback in this sector in all of 2017. And this candlestick with the range not scary at all for the bulls who are remaining in full control still. So all in all, it's going to come down to Thursday. Tomorrow will be very interesting to see how we position ourselves heading into Thursday, whether or not we do see further pullback, but we'll watch to see the reaction to Thursday. And I do believe the market is going to be ready to buy any dip just as they have been what feels like forever. So that's what we got. Thanks for tuning in and we'll check back in tomorrow to see if the bulls put a stop to this momentum. See you then.